So here I have the 2021 uh, Ikenobo calendar. Ikenobo, as you know, is um, probably the world's oldest uh, school of uh, flower arrangement, Japanese style. Mind you, uh, the idea Ikebana uh, in Japanese is uh, quite different from the Western version of um, flower arrangement, as you will see. So um, this Ikebana, for example, is a sheer simplicity and, you know, um, minimalism. And that's the hallmark of um, Ikebana. Uh, this was made by the um, great uh, Senei Ikenobo, uh, the 45th uh, Iemoto uh, schoolmaster of the Ikebana, uh, Ikenobo school. And this was made by the schoolmaster himself. Um, and uh, you, you see how delicately uh, everything is balanced and, you know, how... Um, oh, oh, look at all these beautiful flowers, uh, you know, popping out of the boughs and, you know, um, so it's um, reduction, it's zen. Uh, it's not a uh, Western style uh, flower management where, you know, there will be an abundance and overflowing presence of flowers. In the Ikenobo school, uh, the representation of nature is rather uh, minimalist and simplest, uh, very simple. And um, this actually is made by uh, Ikenobo Senko, Senko Ikenobo, the next schoolmaster, designated school, schoolmaster, Ikenobo school. And she is, I, as I understand it, one of the few, probably the first uh, schoolmaster to um, assume the you know uh, responsibility of um, reading this uh, very old um, ancient uh, art school uh, into the 21st century, and this is by the next uh, schoolmaster, um, Ikenobo Senko, and uh, as you can see, how delicately the master puts the element of color and um, you know form into a whole organizing organic whole and uh, organic whole and this is again by Ikenobo Senya Ikenobo the current school master in the Ikenobo school uh, this surface is very important you know um, this probably uh, represents the border between uh, the world of flower and the world of basement or vases. So this is a defining border. Two worlds separated by one border. And here uh, you see the dance first in time of the living and the dead. And <clears throat> you see the flowers as a metaphor for something uh, more universal, abstract, and probably closer to life. Now, um, this is, um, you know, you want to see uh, the, a work by the next uh, schoolmaster designated, Ikeno Senko, and this is quite modern, contemporary. So this is a wonderful uh, trait of the Ikenopo school, right? I mean, you know, of course it's an old tradition coming from the 15th century. So this is the oldest, one of the world's oldest um, continuing uh, art school tradition. Uh, more than, for more than 600 years, uh, nearly 600 years. So, but you know, so all these wonderful tradition, uh, of course, um, needs to be updated and refreshed, um, you know, reflecting the times and, you know, zeitgeist and so on. So this is a wonderful statement of, um, you know, what uh, modernity should be and could be. And look at all these wonderful, beautiful, uh, you know, color pebbles and how it is constructed with the sheer whiteness of this flower and the subdued greeny, greenness of the leaves and it's such a wonderful uh, totality that, uh, you know, impresses you. And 
Okay, here's、um, another work by the current、uh, schoolmaster. Again, this surface is really important. And、uh, you see how、uh, you know, delicately the colors are arranged、uh, using the typical flower that comes out in May. Yes,、uh, one of the great、um, aspects of、uh, Ikenobo flower arrangement is seasonality.、Uh, famously, Japan has、uh, many different seasons,、uh, nearly 10,、uh, 100 of them. And、uh, you know, so it's, it, at each occasion,、uh, it is、uh, considered to be very、uh, essential that you use, use materials pertinent to the occasion. And here is、um, for our arrangement for June. And you see how、uh, the Ajisai flowers,、uh, which is、uh, typical of this season, is used at very basement. But then、uh, there are this、uh, uh, really sensational dash of yellow f- color on top of that, and there is this finishing touch of white. So you see how uh, creative uh, uh, Ikenobo flower arrangement can be. It's like a modern art. And this is, again is、uh, by the current schoolmaster, Ikenobo Senye. And here it's really contemporary. Or even futuristic. And you see this wonderful contrast between、uh, old school traditional、uh, treatment of the flowers and、uh, quite up to date、uh, contemporary artistic、uh, exploration and、uh, venturing into the unknown. I like this、uh, flower element in particular, but this is by the next schoolmaster. Designated、uh, Ikenobo Senko. And, you know, I really sh- am thrilled by, as I said, by this、uh, surface, water surface, which is very important in Ikenobo flower arrangement, and how、uh, the elements, mind you, these are all coming from nature. And,、um, you know, it's like, oh, oh, you know,、uh, like a prayer. For all living things, because、um, you should know that、uh, Ikenobo flower arrangements actually c o m e s from the Buddhist tradition where、uh, flowers were、uh, offered and dedicated to the living and dead. And、um, it's a visual prayer、um, for the betterment of our lives on this earth and beyond. So, you know, even though they use、uh, living things and cut it up. And trim them and you know, arrange that in this living、uh, art form. The point made is not that the humanities are masters of nature, I mean, so that they can use nature in any way they like. It's actually like a you know, statement of、uh, adjective.、Uh, Uh, humbleness. I mean, we are all humble in face of nature, and we can do very little. These, every element in this wonderful arrangement is from nature, so we cannot create a single one of them. So we are just、uh, humble arrangers, so to speak, of nature, and we should be always、uh, you know, observant of the fact that. Nothing comes from nothing. I mean, in nature, everything is connected. So, these flowers,、uh, of course, they come from a wonderfully rich ecological system, a, ho- a whole universe in itself. And without these wonderfully、um, rich natural、um, entities, we cannot make anything. So, Ikevana is a statement of humbleness. Uh, appreciation of the great nature in which we live and of which we are a small part of. So that's why、uh, there's this, always this element of、uh, dedication, prayer in the、uh, Ikenobo arrangement. 
And that is why uh, it is uh, considered to be a really spiritual expression of Japan's uh, traditional culture. Uh, everything is uh, actually connected to uh, Buddhist philosophy, ultimately. And of course, uh, one of the most intriguing things about uh, Ikenobu flower arrangement is that it can, of course, be, you know, um, treated as a pr practical art form as well. Uh, throughout Japan, there are many, many schools, uh, branches of uh, Ikenobu school, and where people learn how to arrange flowers in the traditional way and through the culture of uh, aesthetics and, you know, um, knowledge of the plants and flowers, uh, one can actually develop a really wonderful um, sense of a unity with nature, which is very rare in today's world. So you have seen some, you know, aspects of the Ikenobo, uh, you know, flower arrangement, and this is, um, you know, uh, the really uh, wonderful annual <laughs> celebration by the Ikenobo school. And uh, if you are outside Japan, uh, I really recommend you to check it out and you know, do some research on the Ikenobo school of flower arrangement, which I think is really wonderful. And as I said, it's a statement of uh, appreciation uh, of the beauty of nature. And also it's a humble uh, prayer dedicated to all living things and all uh, that would, um, you know, eventually perish uh, after fulfilling a short-lived life on this earth. And that includes us humans too. So that's the wonderful uh, spirituality behind the uh, Ikenobu from our arrangement tradition, um, a very ancient tradition in Japan, uh, based in Kyoto.